All right, guys, we are now moving to calculus. So 2.1 says rate of change and limit. So our first definition is limit. We will start with the notation. And this notation, students, is going to come from both sides. Okay. So the notation is the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals to l. Now this is red. I'm going to spell a lot of stuff out for you guys. This is red. The limit over f of x equals l as x approaches c okay now as you heard from what i've stated earlier the limit of f of x as x approaches c equals l that's another way to say it as well now this definition right here it's what we call the limit and besides it is how it is read now what is c right so that notation is for all for all value of c value of c that is contained in a real number set and that means c can be any number it wants to be and l is the height oops missing the e the height the function my pen is kind of missing like the curvature sometimes the function is approaching as oh look at this for all that was like funny for all c okay um, approaching as x is getting closer, tensors approach closer to C. If f of x students, f of x is connected is connected is a connected is a connected function okay so that means this mean it has no holes no jumps no asymptotes then the limit as x approaches c of f of x students is f of c okay now this is really important and we're going to go back to this a lot if your function is con is a connected function that means you got no holes no jump no asymptotes that means this is a continuous function then to find the limit in essence, students, it's just like algebra one, okay? So let's go and do example one. Use the graph to estimate the limit and value of the function. Now, look at this one. This one says a limit of f of h as h approaches zero. This is the calculus notation. Look at b. It says f of zero. Students, this is the algebra one notation. So let's look, let's do b first. So b says find f of zero, meaning that you're going to look when x equals to zero and find where y is at. Now for the sake of simplicity, let's say negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. So we're going to say this is a negative four, okay? So f of zero is negative four. Now in calculus, Part A, find the limit of 
this function f of h as x approaches zero. Now we talk about the limit becoming from both sides. So as x is approaching zero, okay, this function, as x is approaching zero, what is happening to the y? What is y approaching? And y is approaching this value right here. And that value is also negative four. So because the left side and the right side, hence we said both sides, left side and right side, the both sides are approaching one common, one same value of y, then this limit is negative four, okay?